today I am upgrading my main personal gaming PC with the brand new Ryzen 5 5500 and I'm going to be upgrading from the stock cooler to the Thermalite Assassin X120 RSE which I don't know why they have all that numbers and letters going on but that's what I'm going for today. So before I swap out the CPU and do all the BIOS updates and everything I'm going to test three games that I play on my personal computer and see if I can get any better performance uplift with the new Ryzen 5 and my current uh, TX 2060 graphics card. So yeah guys, I will see you guys then. First off, I do have Minecraft, 1080p, fancy settings, but I do have the Optifine mod downloaded, which means that I can have photos and all those cool fancy, fancy textures and everything. Plus, it should bring more FPS, but I do have serious Sados downloaded, which it can hurt the performance. This is how it performs. Average FPS is 33.2 FPS, 1% lows is 11.8 FPS, and 0.1% lows is actually 4.9 FPS. Next is Splitgate, 1080p, epic settings. The average FPS is going to be 236.4. 1% lows is 125.4 and then 0.1% lows is 64.1 FPS. And then the new game I just purchased is Minecraft Dungeons is 157.3 FPS. 1% lows is 73.3 FPS and then 1% low is 19.8 FPS. Alright guys, so I did the game benchmarks. Now I'm gonna get this bias to my flash drive and I'm and then I'm gonna see if I could flash the bias. Hopefully nothing's going on. I'm, I'm hoping there's no power trips or anything. It's not raining or anything in, here in Florida. It's just you know cloudy. So hopefully everything goes well on this computer. So after I update the bias I'm going to take this computer out of, out of this desk, put it over here and then swap the CPU and the brand new cooler. So, see you guys there. Alright guys, I just got the BIOS updating right now. If anybody comes in my room and flip that switch that this entire setup, including my computer, is on, I am going to be really upset. Oh, it looks like it's going fast, but I'm going to see you guys once it's already done. Okay, so the computer boots to Windows, and I got really excited. So, I went to the BIOS, and look at that, updated the darn BIOS. I updated the BIOS successfully. Now that means I'm going to upgrade my 2600 to my 5500. I'll see you guys once I get this computer powered down. Alright guys, so I just got this computer out. I put the tape behind the AMD backplate so it shouldn't fall. So all you gotta do is unscrew all those four and I will see you guys once this thing's out. Alright guys, so I just got the cooler, I got the CPU and I'm gonna try to get the CPU out. Boom, I'm done. Take the CPU out and put it in the safe area which is gonna be probably right here now it's time sorry for the bad camera angles out here trying my best to give you guys quality content here on my youtube channel got my new knife all right and this thing also has a stock cooler but i am not installing a stock cooler today so i'm gonna put this one in to the socket huh all right got the cpu in now let's close up now it's not going nowhere, which is good. All right, guys, so I just booted up this PC with the new CPU in it. Look how much bigger this PC is. And here we go, Ryzen 5 5500 coming from this crusty old, not old, but like still capable 2600. I'm going to clean up this desk, and then I'm going to do the after benchmark. All right, guys, if you guys noticed that I sound a little bit different, well, that's because I have some kind of cold, and my nose is stuffed up a little bit. Anyways... That's not going to stop me from doing these kind of videos. So after the upgrade, same seconds as, as before. Minecraft, I do have 66.6 FPS average. And then the 1% lows is 25.7. And 0.1% low of 18.5 FPS, which is better than, than before. Blackgate, 1080p epic seconds. I do have 285.4 FPS average. 188.8 1% low FPS. And then... 
the current run percent low is 92.3 FPS. And then lastly, Minecraft Dungeons. Average FPS is 189.2. Run percent low is 77.4. And then the point one percent low is 2.5. I don't know what happened. Should have been uh, a little bit better, but maybe... I might have screwed up the benchmark numbers a little bit. At least the computer should perform better than the, than the old parts inside of it. Alright guys, so... I just got this computer up for it last night, and I did a little bit of gaming and video editing. I do not know what happened to my capture card that's connected to, to my GoPro, but I'll just figure it out after after this video goes live on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss none of the, none of the content that I'll be uploading on YouTube. And post a like on this video if you find this entertaining or whatever that you might think. Peace.